Okay, time to go after Rachel. Hello. Bystander. Moonlight shines gently on the courtyard. The air is heavy with the scent of roses and black tea. The wind gently caresses the leaves, and I can vaguely hear the almost systematic breathing of people sleeping. Systematic breathing of people sleeping. Okay. Breath. Systematic breaths of people sleeping. The dread, fully normal day has begun. The routine has started once again. It's nice and peaceful, but still. I'm bored. Do you feel tired, madam? No, not really. I do hope that is the truth. Thank you. Today's tea is exquisite. You are too kind, madam. Today's tea has been imported from Amaruga. I thought perhaps you would appreciate its rich aroma. I see. I do detect a subtle difference in flavor. What the deuce? Madam Rachel, is something amiss? Uh, n no. I'm fine. If you wish to rest, I will see to it that the bedchamber is made ready for you straight away. I appreciate the concern, Valkenhayn, but all that I require is more tea. Of course, madam. I shall prepare a second pot post-haste. Hmm. I look up at the sky, at the moon, shining like a lustrous pearl in the heavens, surrounded by its retinum of shimmering stars. Retinue, but it is one of those stars that interest me, not their lord, the moon. A star of ill omen. A star that shines its brightest when the earth is on the brink of destruction. As I look at the star, I realize it has moved, but only ever so slightly. The stars. I know what it means. I know that once again the time has come. I know that once again... That terrible thing will make its de debut. I know that once again the world is about to end. I stand and delicately prod Nago and Gi with my foot. Ow! Delicately. <laughs> Ow! That'll hurt, princess! Do you do anything but sleep? Come, we're going out. C going out? But we just got back. We usually get some time to relax before we have to go out again. The situation has changed. Get ready. Now. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but... The time has come for us to act, right? Oh, my goodness. I am not sure myself, but that is what I intend to find out. <laughs> it has been a while since I felt this kind of excitement. Your tea, madam. Uh, gone already? They grow up so fast. A shame this tea shall go to waste. Ah, oh, well, a good house is a tidy house. Hmm? Hmm? Long time no see, old man. You have changed little, I see. No sense of propriety whatsoever. A man such as you is not welcome in a place such as this. I would humbly request that you leave. Immediately. Hey now, don't be so cold. Don't we go way back? I've had to spend hours surrounded by the stench of these flowers because I don't want to see that damn vampire. I'm terribly sorry. Perhaps you did not hear me. I believe I asked you to leave. <laughs> Just forget it, man. There's no use. You should know that. Don't tell me you're going senile. Oh, did I hit a nerve? <laughs> you're mad at me for telling the truth? <laughs> what kind of logic is that? Hmm. Oh, you want to keep going? Just when I thought you had calmed down, you start cleaning. As square as always. Eh? Enough! What do you want? Nothing really. 
I was just wondering if you realized yet. What on earth are you talking about? The stars are moving. P Poppycock! I hmm. hope your precious little lady is all right. Well, that's all I really wanted to say. See you around. Oh dear. Perhaps old age is getting the better of me. I did not notice. I am on my way, Madam Rachel. I pray for your safety. Damn. I forgot what. How barren. How did we end up here? I guess even you can make some mistakes, Princess. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to get oh. hit, yup. Princess! Someone's coming! I have eyes, Ski. Now shut your ugly mouth before I remove it from your face. Hello there, child. How do you do? Are you a witch? You came out of nowhere. I beg your pardon? Clearly, those ostentatious eyeglasses do your eyes no good. Perhaps they would serve you better forcibly inserted into your mouth. What do you think, sis? About this person? <sighs> uh, sis? What's the matter? Milady, the guy's talking to a puppet. I think we should keep on walking. <laughs> Still depending on your sister at your age. How pitifully sad. How dreadfully irritating. Dangerous? You're saying that person is dangerous? Who in the world are you? This has never happened before. Sis is reacting to someone other than myself. Have you ever heard of the word manners? Inquiring about a lady's nature is not only rude, it is the very height of impropriety. You're dangerous. I'm not really sure why, but you're a dangerous individual. My sister said so. Ah, Carl, you always want to get yourself in trouble. And beaten up by women, I see you have a type. But I'll let you beat her up this time. Not bad. Might this be a consequence of the shift? It's called being a sore loser. Or perhaps you know something I don't. If that's the case, I'll have you answer my questions. P princess <laughs> this doesn't look good! Valkenheim! Oh my, I see I was only just in time. <gasps> It would seem the time is not yet right. Let us retire to the castle, milady. So it would seem. A shame, but I suppose I have done my utmost. It is back to waiting, then. Waiting in this cage where time never ends. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! I do not remember how to play Rachel's Let me see. No, it wasn't that one. George, please get your ass back here. Yeah. Hi. Oh. I just don't know how to play as this girl. Flip. I'm actually gonna lose even when I'm trying to win. I don't know how I won that. <laughs> Sis! <laughs> ah, you mean you thought you stood a chance against the princess? Well, if I'm the one controlling her. <laughs> what should we do with this boy, milady? 
Let's see. Uh, okay, so this should be the gag ending, yes? You are still in rather dire need of manners. Perhaps you would like to beg for mercy. Is that what you would like to do, you spoiled brat? Uh, 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 how shall I punish you? <laughs> you have no idea what the princess is capable of. Halt right there! A man of love and justice, Bang Shishigami arrives! Goodness, man, I forgot how annoying you are. I have been watching from afar. But how can you lay a finger on a man who is already down? And you call yourself a warrior. That young man is my cute little disciple. I, Bang Shishigami, cannot overlook this. Who? I just said I'm Bang Shishigami. Hm. This matter does not concern you. I suggest you leave. But I just told you that boy is my apprentice. You will excuse me if I find it difficult to believe this unsullied child would associate with a man such as yourself. That's not true. He's also a vigilante like myself. Besides, the kinds of fights vigilantes get involved in are very limited. Which leads me to believe that you have done something terrible. You cannot fool me with your appearance. Now, fight fair and square. Hmm. Nago, he, let's go. All righty. Milady, are we just leaving him? You have failed to pique my curiosity, and I do not much care for sweaty men. Hmm? So you choose to run? You coward! This conversation is over. Now we're going to jump from here straight to the cauldron. I won't let you! <laughs> what the F? She just chose to run from... Oh dear. What is this place? Looks like we messed up. Oh dear. It would seem we are not where we should be. <sighs> you disgust me. Oh, please! Hmm? What am I doing here? Could this be the warp I've heard about? In my years of rigorous training, I never would have imagined I would get to see this day. To experience a space-time jump with my very own eyes. What? D don't tell me. Are you the one who did this? Could you be a top-class vigilante? It is almost unbelievable that a small child such as yourself can be a true master of the art. However, the saying does go, don't judge a book by its cover. Then, could she be the descendant of a master? It's possible. If she's been trained by masters from a young age, then it's entirely possible. My god, he's going at such a... Oh, I suppose your departure was too much to hope for. I humbly apologize for my impudence earlier. Although I was unaware of who you were, my attitude was inexcusable. Gee. I require more crumpets. Water that! Hmm. The perfect atmosphere for a nap. No? But I must question what you were doing to my cute little disciple. Perhaps he insulted you in some manner? Nonetheless, that could be a youthful mistake, and it was by no means his true intent. That is what I would like to believe. Gee, would you be so kind as to adjust the mirror upward? You said it! Too high. Sorry. I'm afraid that is insufficient. Your punishment will be forthcoming. Th that's too much. Which is why, no matter how good of an education you receive, or how well off your family is, you cannot look down on others. <laughs> not to mention, both you and Carl are but children. You must not resolve your differences with your fists. My lady, it hurts. It hurts! No more, please. Th and that's the case. Do you understand now? I take a moment to consider what the creature has. <laughs> if I remember correctly, this man, too, carries a Nox Nictorus. I would very much like to simply ignore the pestilent creature in front of me and attend to other more important matters, but if he was chosen by a Nox glass weapon, then he too must have an important role in this play. You. What is it? Then again. Huh? Finished. Did you see that? 
Now this is the Shishigami Ninpo. To think I could be defeated by this... this oaf. Of all the... Nago, Gi, it is far past time we left. Roger that. Gi, prepare a bath. That filthy man touched me and I fear he may have left something of himself behind. I feel unclean. Oh, of course, <laughs> my lady. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nothing less from the heir to a master. To be using such a strange technique. <laughs> The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Now the power barrier! Not good! Now the Where is George? Now the lady! Win! Win! Now the lady! Win! Now the lady! Where is my door? Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, come in. No, oh, I have no regrets. <laughs> the only dangerous thing about you is your prodigious stench. Any fool armed with so much as a clothespin would have little trouble defeating you. Nago, Gi, let us take our leave of this disgusting spectacle. You got it. Milady, where are you going? Let's see. Oh, oh, Miss Lychee, let me handle this one. Oh dear. It would seem we are not where we should be. Perhaps it is due to this strange interference. A princess? What are we gonna do? For the moment, I'm afraid there is little we can do. Except take this opportunity to enjoy a cup of tea. In the slum. Sounds good. Guy, the princess has requested a cup of tea. Hmm? Guy? Here! I'm right here! <laughs> what is that thing? A vulgar creature of lower orders. It is rather filthy. Take care not to touch it. Princess! Help me, please! I'm getting eaten! He... he ate him? Princess, it's dark in here. I'm scared. Just taste that. Should be master instead. Ugh, I'm all sticky. What a filthy insect. You have defiled my familiar. Must I show you your proper place? I do fear, but you have a problem with that I shall indulge you. Your hubris suggests a resistance to discipline, insect. Nevertheless, perhaps I will manage to teach you some manners. Will you be getting these things? This power. Has there been a shift here as well? Bon appetit! The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! George the 13th, come on now. Don't come in. George the 13th, don't come in. George the 13th, don't come in. Don't come in. 
Like he's trying to run! Princess, are you just gonna let him go? I care not. I do not wish to be in the company of that thing any longer than is absolutely necessary. I'm still trying to overcome my trauma. He, you will remain at least five yards from me at all times until you've been cleansed of that filth. Perhaps you should remain downwind as well. Should I catch a whiff of your odious coating, I believe you know what will follow. Oh. And that goes for me, too. <laughs> Everyone's so... Yeah. I have developed reservations in regard to pressing forward. The ships I have seen are far too great, and I fear it is too late for the resolution I hoped for to come to fruition. Therefore, I believe that this time I will merely watch. And if by chance a new ship comes into being, I will use every ounce of my power under my command to help this world collapse. My goodness. Ah, uh, it would seem I have at least caught up with you. Ah, oh, Falkenhayn. I think perhaps it is time the young madam called it a night. This time around. An excellent suggestion. It would be best if we were to retire. Very well. I shall desire tea when we return. You will prepare it, and then we shall wait. After all, we have all the time in the world. I'm rather tired, but I suppose this time away from the drudgery of the castle has done me good. No play retains its drama in repetition. <sighs> Falkenhayn, if Father could see the world as it is now, what would he think? I do not quite know how I should answer that question, madam. I have been plagued by doubt of late, Valkenhayn. Do you? Do you think I belong at the head of this family? As the inheritor of this mansion? You will forgive my impertinence, my lady, but such a question seems out of character. Is that so? No, I suppose you are right. Perhaps I am simply tired. Do you wish to retire to the bedchamber? I shall have it made up. Let me stay here a little longer. Even if I fall asleep, I should like to stay here a little longer. Very well then, madam. I shall bring you a blanket. Yes. Please. <sighs> ah, sir. If you could only see your daughter now. Your Rachel has grown so much. I now want to go to the hospital. I would rather leave him, that he may live to regret his actions. The princess letting someone go? You have no idea how lucky you are. I shall see you around, child. Good day. Huh? Oh dear. It would seem I have arrived too late. Madam Rachel is still on the move. I'm terribly sorry. You are... It has been some time. I take it this young gentleman is your new master? Having a master is rather difficult, wouldn't you agree? Here, allow me to... 
as cautious as ever I see, but I am no longer your enemy. Do not concern yourself. All that matters is that we can understand one another. Let me see. Ah, I believe there's a rather skilled doctor in Orient Town. I believe that will be my next stop. Would you care to join me? <laughs> Damn it! Who are you? Noel Vermillion? Are you. Major Kisaragi! Please, hang in there! I'm calling a doctor right now! <clears throat> Why did the Major attack me? He seemed really disoriented. What should I. <laughs> oh. Awake already, are you? Huh? Uh. Are you talking to me? I see no one else here. Mm. Sh she's scary. Shh. I've heard women can fight with just their eyes. I don't like your eyes. Uh huh? Don't you think it's rather pathetic to rely on those things? W what are you talking about? Those little toys you insist on carrying with you. Can't even talk without it, can you? Th that's because... Oh, for goodness sake, child, make up your mind. Your behavior sickens me, although I can't say I expected much. What, what do you know about me? <sighs> what do I know about you? So you really want to know. Okay, I shall indulge you. Everything. <laughs> Enough of this. I have not come here to experience your lamentable attempts at conversation. I am here to determine if you possess the power to change this world. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Calm down! If you resist any more, I can't guarantee your safety! Idiot. Huh? You think you've won, child. You would do well to temper your enthusiasm. You may have a few tricks up your sleeve, but that is all they are. Simple parlor tricks. Not real power. And all you know is to obey orders that were given to you. No, um, I was... You disgust me. I say good day. Um, wait! Gi, Nago, we must depart at once. Cease your dawdling. Uh, ow! That hurt, princess. Don't take your anger out on me. Ow! Nago, shut up and fly. Okay. Why do I have to be on the receiving end? The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one. Action! George the Thirteenth. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. George the Thirteenth. Better. George the Thirteenth. I want you. George the Thirteenth. Now I'm the leader. Now the Don't come near me. George the Thirteen. Count me. George the Thirteen. Don't come near me. Count me. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Body, body, body. This part is finished. I believe I will be taking those toys of yours now. No. Why do you have to be so mean to me? Why? Is that all you can do? How disappointing. Without your toys, you're nothing more than a hysterical child. To think I thought you might change the world. Nago, Guy, let us depart. All righty! How terribly persistent of you, Harlequin. Why have you come here? Do you intend to intervene now? Uh. Something is strange. There he is standing before me, the old man once known as Hakuman, a hero. But now he fights for his own beliefs. 
his own form of justice to escape this never-ending cycle of cursed fate. Still, something is not right. Something has shifted. Just as the star has shifted, so has the course of the world. At first I thought perhaps Hokonoe was responsible. After all, she is the closest to uncovering the truth, and she knows of my efforts to change this cursed world. I thought perhaps she would attempt something, but this? This is not Kokonoa's doing. She could never cause a shift of this magnitude. Then that would mean... <laughs> you smile. Why? Well, I thought that since I'm here and so are you, perhaps we could play a little. Surely you jest. You are nothing more than a spectator. You would be wise to take your leave. Big words from a clown with no audience. <laughs> a clown, eh? Let us see who between us is truly a clown. Oh yes, yes, let's do. I believe I would like that very much. <laughs> princess! Princess! Get a grip! Princess! Hurry up and finish that guy off! Ha! You show your true colors, Jester. Of all the... <sighs> Is this too a shift? Let us meet again in his era. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! grows tired of your wooden performance, and your audience has long since departed. Damnable intervention! A curse upon you, harlot! It would seem that once again all we can do is watch. <gasps> Gee! You scared the living crap out of me! Hey there, vampire. Ah, oh, I suppose I should have known. I never had much use for Mr. Arkham, but perhaps I was wrong. If you are here, the shifts I've been forced to endure begin to make a modicum of sense. You're pretty sharp for a shitty vampire. <laughs> been doing a little studying? I thought perhaps death would humble you somewhat, but I now see that was a foolish hope. You still have the complexion of a maggot and the face of a worm, I see. Well, there are lots of things I can do because I look like this. Perhaps you would enjoy being a bug. I don't mean to presume, but such an appearance would suit you. I could take pleasure in stomping you. Your insults are so dull. I couldn't even get angry if I tried. Maybe you should study up on how to insult your opponent. Out of town. <laughs> you should just sit back and drink your little tea, stupid vampire. Huh? Get it? Understand me? <laughs> Probably not. You're a dumbass, after all. How dare you? Oh, man. I'm getting tired of picking on vampires. 
So I'm gonna head out. See ya. Uh, princess? Uh, are you okay? Wow! Uh, he would dare speak to me, to me in such a way. Why, if I could get my hands around his vicious little neck. Eek! Milady! Calm down, please, calm down! Uh, I don't think I can take much more. <sighs> you sure you want to leave that guy alone? He might be up to no good again. Mm. Oh, I shall see that he receives his just desserts, but in due time. Oh, the pain I will visit upon that man. I will see him beg for death. But we don't even know where he went. We will find him with Kokonoe. I am loath to admit it, but I know him. Then, we're going to Sector 7, right? That is correct. If he has not yet gone to Kokonoe, then she must know of his imminent arrival. You there? Hmm? What? How did I not detect you closing in? I need to speak with Kokonoe. You will assist me. Speak with Kokonoe? Who the hell are you? That is none of your concern. Why have you not begun preparations? Preparations? I am referring to your matter transference device. <laughs> Give me one reason why I should listen to you. I know that it leads to wherever Kokonoe has hidden herself, and I know that only she can activate it. What? How did you know that? Must I explain everything? Have you never considered that you are the key which activates the device? I'm... the key? Just how much do you know? No, oh dear. This is going nowhere. If you find me a nuisance, why not simply attack me? When you change modes, you will activate the key on this end. What? What the hell is Is something wrong? So you speak as if you know it all. And this happens. I don't even care who you are anymore. You'd better get out of my sight before I change my mind. It would appear Kokonoe has altered the activation key. Perhaps this is a shift. Hmm. What are you doing? Leave! Very well. I will take my leave of you for this performance. That is what you desire, correct? I don't think I will ever understand that girl. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one. Action! Don't come in. No. George, I dare two. you! No. Don't come in. You done? Don't come in. George, it's our team. Don't come not in. Bad. Hey, not bad. Don't come in. Not bad. George, I dare you! Don't come in. Get ready. George the 13th. Don't come in. George the 13th. Don't come in. George the 13th. Don't come in. George the 13th. Counter. Not quite. George the 13th. Don't come in. What are you doing? You shouldn't have held back, Mechanical Man. If you'd only obeyed me when I first requested your assistance. It... activated? Have we not been over this? This dreadful mess makes it difficult to access her from the outside. How like her. Thank you for your assistance. Until we meet again, Mr. Red Devil. Who the hell is she? Kokonoi, are you gonna be okay? Goodness gracious! 
How terribly bothersome. Rachel? How did you get in here? Why, with the key, of course. Ah, oh, that's right. You can see everything, can't you? If you know that much, surely you've noticed. Yeah, I have. And I tried about a million things, but none of them work. All failures. Indeed. Success comes rarely and never easily. I must congratulate you. You did discover it much faster this time. I see. Then there might be hope for us yet. One can only hope. I believe, however, that task is yours. So it's up to me, who isn't really me. I kind of feel responsible, but at the same time, I don't. Weird. Well, I'd love to stick around and shoot the shit, but I've got places to be, things to do. Oh, I wouldn't dream of keeping you from your important work. But there is one thing I thought you should know. What's that? Your old friend, Teremy, has returned. What did you say? He's rather close now, I would say. <laughs> Rachel. Oh, you needn't tell me. You would rather I stayed out of this, wouldn't you? Well, I guess you just know it all, don't you? I'm gonna take him down. You just watch. I can't let a bastard like that exist. Then I wish you the best of luck. Perhaps this time around, you will achieve that which you desire. That was all I could do. I am a patron of this play, however unwilling. Not an actor. I may cheer the cast. The stage itself is forbidden to me. At times I have regretted it. At other times I have welcomed and accepted my place. But this time I feel a change of heart. There is hope. The finest of threads, but it is there. Perhaps even I, a simple member of the audience, can change the play, if only in a small way. I begin my long walk home with hopes high. Before long, the world will end again, and begin anew. I will sit and I will watch the seeds I have planted and perhaps their growth will bring the change my play so desperately needs. After all, what more could a grateful audience ask for? All right, and there should be one more. Be gone, Harlequin. The st- <laughs> Ah, uh, if you you're pr I thought perhaps you're uh, you have uh. 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 he would <sighs> you sure mm. why should I waste my time on a charlatan like him why should I waste my time on a charlatan like him uh, if that's the case then I suppose it's okay I will say this only once do not speak of him in my presence again, ever. There will be consequences. I won't. Ever. Princess. Somebody's coming. I grow tired of this. Who approaches? Huh? Why the hell are you here? <laughs> Damn you. Is that all? Huh. Plato may have believed the forms were incorporeal and atemporal, but here you are before me, the form of a fool. Shut up! I won't be insulted by someone kicking back in the box seats. Such vicious accusations. Why the venom, Grim Reaper? I don't believe you're after me. Now you're just asking for it. Fool! <laughs> Finished so soon, hmm? What was it I was asking for again? Shut up, stupid! This is pointless. In this state, you cannot possibly... Nago, Gee, it's time we took our leave. Are you sure, milady? Yes. Our petite vacance has exhausted me. I wish to return home. Gee, I will be expecting hot tea soon after we return. Got it! Don't ever come back, stupid rabbit. <sighs> What? Fool. Why, you? Hmm. What a waste of time. 
The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Not of that, Ragnar. George, the cartoon. Counter. George, the cartoon. Suicide. Go home already. George, the cartoon. Go home already. Suicide. Suicide. George, the cartoon. Not that. Not that. Suicide. Bring it. George, the cartoon. Inferno Divider! Not that, not that! Suicide! Move it! George, the first one! Suicide! Suicide! Neil, the fourth! Rock, this charge is finished! Ah, oh, damn it! <sighs> what? Ow! The, the princess? Hit him with a fist! Why, you. <laughs> What the hell was... Why do you hold back? Huh? You still don't understand. Even after so many repetitions, don't you see that your lack of conviction dooms this world to oblivion? Uh, hey, what the heck are you talking about? I have no clue what's going on. Why are you fighting? Why are you living? Why were you born? You're here only to destroy the world, aren't you? To end it all. I was... just... <laughs> the time has already come. You. What? What's with you? You're creeping me out ra- Not now. Listen to me. Never admit defeat. Endure whatever pain you may face. And fight until your last breath as a human being. Even if you are ugly. And pathetic. And broken. Rachel. Please, Ragna. That's what I was planning to do anyway. <laughs> so this is the climax, huh? All right, bring it on. I am dreaming a terribly long dream, one with no end. It matters not how I struggle to wake myself from the dream. It is futile. Perhaps it is time to give up. Give up and forget about life outside this dream. It would appear I have failed once again. How many times have I been here, in this very spot? The entrance to the dream from which I can never wake. The doors of the abyss. And here I am. Again. Everything the way it was. Joel. A voice. This. This voice. Rachel. Sorry. And thanks. Yes. Are you awake, milady? Yes. In fact... I feel quite refreshed. Do you indeed? In that case, I shall prepare the most exquisite tea before you have returned to your customary foul temper. <laughs> An excellent idea, Valkenhayn. Would you be so kind as to bring it to me in the courtyard? I shall be waiting. Of course, madam. The moon is quite beautiful tonight. Okay, that was Rachel's ending. Yeah, I don't like Rachel. <laughs> no, I'll be perfectly honest, she's my least favorite character of the whole bunch, but... Yeah, she plays a role, I guess. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.